Eight, cell division or mitosis. So we talked about how DNA divides. Now let's talk about how the entire cell divides. As DNA divides, as does the cell. Um, when we talk about mitosis, we're talking about what's called autosomes. Get into the zone, the autosome. <laughs> okay. Or somatic cells. These are non-sex cells. These are not sperm and egg. So these are kind of the rest of the body cells. They're not the sperm or the egg. We'll get to that with, my with meiosis. Okay, great. So in order to transfer this DNA information, DNA has replicated. It's beautiful. You know all about that. So now it has to go to different cells, right? Our cells are constantly dying and regenerating or dividing to make more cells. Um, so, and in every single one of our cells, our somatic cells, is a copy of our entire DNA. So they, um, this process is called, like I said, mitosis. It has to do with dividing up, making a copy of our DNA, we know this, and then it splits in mitosis. Mm -hmm. And then, so you have this constant regeneration of cells that are constantly dying. So um, that's just fun fact. Yep, yeah, there we go. Moving. Oh, isn't that nice? It's like a little picture. They're like kissing. Also, you're probably sitting there like, hey, sweet current reference there, lighter with the 2005 Pearson Prentice Hall Inc. photo. Right. I looked for more recent um, photos, and honestly, I couldn't find any that were that great. So just bear with me. It's like, think of them like vintage. So we saw this video the other day where you have DNA, right? We know all about DNA, DNA and the base pairs. We know all about this. Yay, we're so smart. So it's wound, out, wound around histones. These are proteins. So it's wound around this to make chromatin, okay? So then chromatin is this stuff, and it folds up to make chromosomes, because of DNA, this is this equals this side. They're equal, okay? They're the same. Um, we call these things, um, well, we'll get to that in a second. So that's your chromosomes. We've got 23 pairs of chromosomes. We've got 46 chromosomes in every single one of our cells. So when it divides, this chromosome divides too. Okay, so as you've got replication, you've got this and this. Imagine these are like these strands of DNA make up the sister chromatids. Okay, but when the cell divides, this divides also. So you've got one copy going to one cell, the other complete copy going to the other cell, and then they replicate and you have a chromosome. Okay, um, yeah, just know that these little guys, each one of these is called a sister chromatid, and that they're comprised, they're identical. All right, so your eukaryotes are going to have copies of each chromosome, two copies, right? So for every single chromosome, you have two of them. So like here's one chromosome, just go with my drawing. We call these things homologous. meaning the same, means the same. So your two pairs of chromosomes, say this is chromosome 18, okay? These, this is the same as this one, okay? Because, remember, we're in the business of protecting DNA. So having two homologous chromosomes is like um, your backup system. If something happens to this guy, if this guy gets in a bar fight, don't worry about it because you got your DNA preserved here. But bam. So like I said, these are called, these pairs are called the homologous chromosomes. We have two sets of 23. So we have 46 chromosomes total in every single one of our body cells. What? That's crazy. Now, that's our body. We have, we'll talk about the sex chromosomes later. So we have... Um, what we have is our chromosomes determine our sex, right? Females have two X chromosomes. Males have an X and Y. We'll talk more about this when we talk about meiosis. When we talk about mitosis, we're talking primarily about autosomes, okay? So we have 1 through 22. We have 22 different, essentially, pairs of autosomes, okay? So how do we know what people's 
business looks like, right? So like in Gattaca or even now, what they'll do is they'll do karyotypes of individuals. So that is a basically a picture of the arrangement of your chromosomes. And I got a picture, ba bam. So here are all your chromosomes, right? So you have, um, here they are, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Um, so this last one is chromosome number 23. It determines your, your sex, right? That's an X and a Y. Look at that pathetic Y chromosome, huh? Am I right, ladies? Um, so, right. So that's kind of how, how this works, right? These are all the same. So these two chromosomes are the same. These two chromosomes are the same. Now, Down syndrome um, and different um, trisomies are when you have three copies of a, of a, of a uh, chromosome. So Down syndrome is called, caused by three, tri, it's called trisomy 18. Tri meaning three um, chromosomes of the 18th. Um, and this is kind of gives us an idea of like what we can do is um, parents can do this. They can get these kind of like genetic screens of their kids and they can, they can get it from the mother's blood because um, there's enough cells of the baby inside the mother's blood now. Um, that, that we can do these kind of karyotypes and then m moms can see, okay, well, where, you know, is there a likelihood that their baby would have Down syndrome or they can determine the, the sex of the baby. Take that 2005. Um, moving on. Boom. The cell cycle. So this whole mitosis is part of something called the cell cycle. Okay. I don't know why this is all caps. I imagine me yelling at you. Just imagine me screaming this in your face. Um, it has a, a nice, nice ring to it, a nice sense of urgency. So here's the thing. The eukaryotic cell cycle is repetitive. It's a repeating pattern of growing, DNA replication, mitosis, and cytokinesis. Cytokinesis is just when the, the two cells split after mitosis. Um, it lasts about 24 hours, okay? Interphase, right? Snooze fest is the majority of the time. Cells growing. You've got DNA replication happening. This business takes about a half hour. Okay, the chromosomes separate, and then you have them. Um, the two daughter cells are produced. Now, in these, keep in mind you're getting an exact copy of the the cell. Whereas when you have fertilization, you're getting a brand new cell. So when we talk about mitosis, we're talking about an exact copy. Here's a fun picture of the cell cycle. It's so fun. Cell cycle. Okay, so here we go. Here's where mitosis takes place, right? So that's about 30 minutes, okay? And then you've got G for growth, okay? You've got two growth phases. This is where your, your DNA replication happens. So we, we represent it like this because, um, I don't know, because it's like a 24-hour period. It looks nice in a circle. Um, so you have growing, 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 interphase, it's growing, interphase, first part, growing, DNA replicates, that's still interphase. You have more growth, and then you have division. That's basically it. I know it's super exciting. Um, just ask uh, 2000 and ask uh, Megan Lander back in 2005, and she would have to agree. So, right, so the process, this is just a review. It's the process by which the cell's newly du duplicated chromosomes, right, condense, align themselves against um, essentially the equator of the cell, and divide. And they divide evenly um, right before the cell actually divides. So it's used for growth, replacement of damaged or dead cells, or even asexual reproduction. And these are the four stages. You've got prophase, where the chromosomes are like, what are we going? What are you, what's going on here? Metaphase is when they line up at the, they line up here, right? Anaphase is they start to separate and telophase is right before cytokinesis, and it looks kind of like this, right? So what you have here is you've got the centromere, um, or the centriole, my bad. The centrioles are here, and they're the ones that kind of send what's called the microtubules or the spindles down to attach to, this is, I'm going to, they attach to the chromosomes like this, boom on either side, and then it, they pull them apart. That's what they do to make the new cell. God, guys, is the fun ever start? Oof, I'm exhausted. Um, okay, as always, please, please, please bring your questions to class. You can also write them in all caps if you like. 
Um, you can scream them in my face. You can scream them in, in, in each other's face. You know, whatever, whatever um, is going gonna, is gonna to help us facilitate the learning process. And we will have some time to go over this before um, we continue on tomorrow. Okay, thanks.